गुड इवनिंग हेलो हेलो गुड इवनिंग टीचर हाउ आर यू हे एट्रियाना लॉन्ग टाइम नो सी यू यस हाउ आर यू आल टायर वेरी टायर रियली बट इट वाज फ्राइडे आई वाज वर्क फ्रॉम ए एम टू टेन पी एम येस्टरडे फॉर ऑल द वीक Wednesday and Tuesday. Oh my God, that was really hard. <laughs> yes. Because of the closing of the month. Ah uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I believe you. All right, but I'm glad you're back. <laughs> Almost the end of the course. <laughs> Just three more classes. Well, with this one, including this one. Yes. Hey, Carlos Ernesto. Hi, teacher. How are you? <clears throat> so so. Still sick. Um, mm, mm, mom. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little it's, bit. It's still uh, sick. Uh -huh. I feel. I feel same yesterday. Really, all the symptoms. Uh, but I. Tibioti. I have the medication. I take the medication. I have the medicine. Uh -huh. I have the medicine. I hope tomorrow. It works. Yeah, usually antibiotics take some time to mm. get some effects because infections are not easy to attack. I really did cough. Yeah, I know it's terrible. Tomorrow is it's be. You can mm, rest because, sure. yeah, when you have an infection, when you have the flu problem, and if you don't rest, only okay. with the medicine, you don't do much. Okay. It's true. Okay. <laughs> well, I hope you feel better, but tomorrow you don't go to work. No, uh, until Monday. Next Monday, all right. Nice. Okay, that's great. Well, today's Friday. <laughs> I don't. I don't have shift. You don't have shift, but but sometimes you have shift on the weekend. Nice. Uh, I have shift, uh, which um seven weeks, cause every seven. Every seven weeks. Mm. What? Every seven weeks. Every seven weeks. You have a shift. That means working on a weekend. Huh? When you have that shift, <laughs> you work the weekend. Uh, no, I don't. I no le escuché. I when you have this shift, you have to work on the weekend. Yes. Uh, si tengo. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, yes, uh, our chief, uh, our, I have every seven weeks, mm -hmm. but other uh, weeks, weeks I have a work program, programado. How do you say? A schedule. A schedule uh, work mm -hmm. in in middle. In middle the seven weeks. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. The, uh, uh, when I have shift, uh, yeah. is is it's Saturday and um, Monday. Uh, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. Uh huh. Sunday. Okay. And the schedule work is on. Uh, Sunday only. All right. Yeah, it's a very different dynamic in your work. Yes. Yeah, I see. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it's okay. Well, what about the other people? I just see Christina, Jacqueline. Daniel says he's going to be listening only. Hi, Daniel. That bypass in San Miguel? 
<laughs> it's time consuming. <laughs> All right. Hi, Hazel. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm glad. All right. So we're still making some minutes for the whole, well, not the whole class, but at least most of people can join the class, okay? Most of participants can be here, all right? Okay, we still have a well, couple of minutes. Let me get the list. Yeah. Okay, the right list and the right date. Okay. All right, here we go. Well, I hope you have worked on the platform as well because it's real important, remember. And the reminding for the date, okay, of registering. So today is Friday, the last date of September, the 30th. Oh no, how fast this month went. Today, today finish the month. No. <laughs> today we finished the month, not the module. <laughs> we have two more classes for next week. Okay, tomorrow is Children's Day. We commemorate Children's Rights Day. All right, attendance, Adriana. Present. Carlos. Cristina. Hi. Let me just take a look at this. Very few people actually. <laughs> okay. Elsie is not here. Herman will be absent. Jaisal. Okay. Hector hasn't connected yet. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Irma hasn't connected yet. Isabel. Lucy, Mayra, Nayet, Samuel. Present teacher. Hi, Wendy and Jacqueline. No, no. Present. Yet. Oh, you're here. Present. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jacqueline. I thought you were not here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I hadn't seen you. I'm sorry. All right, great. Are we ready for practicing? Yes. <laughs> no working the microphone again, Isabel. We need to get a new one. <laughs> At least this one. This type of oh, those are the ones you use. Oops. This one's really like really good, really reliable. I, I got them on the on the cell phone, the come with the cell phone. Mm -hmm. And I have had them this like for so many years. And they are still working. All right. Thank you, Isabel. Yes, I saw your name. Okay. Well, practically, as I said before, this is our class number 18, the session 18. And the date is Friday, September the 30th of 2022. And this is what we're going to be uh, pursuing to write an email recommending a workshop or training using simple past. Yeah, we continue with the simple past. All the end of this course is going to be is going to be about the simple past. We have no excuses whatsoever. So definitely I brought some exercises 
for the simple past with did. Okay, yes, no questions with did. So probably you saw this on the manual. Okay, this is the structure for asking questions, but um, let me just make sure it says, use simple past yes no questions to get information or past situation. The structure is did plus the subject plus the verb plus the complement, right? Did the speaker use a computer in the speech? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Did the listener ask questions? Yes, they did. No, they didn't, right? Obviously, on this structure, we are asking yes, no questions, okay? So we're not asking uh, information question. We're just asking yes, no question. So it is possible to answer just yes, he did. Yes, she did. Yes, I did. Yes, she did. Yes, we did. Or no, I didn't. No, you didn't. No, she didn't, right? So it is possible to answer just with a short answer, okay? So probably uh, we haven't seen this on the on the. I mean, on the manual yet, but this is something related to what we're going to study, okay? So, give me just one second. I just need to project something right here, okay? Uh-huh, here we go. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. Here we go. Let me just close this a little bit. Okay. So this uh, structure, yeah, definitely was presented with this conversation. Did we practice this conversation yesterday? No, we didn't. <laughs> it was supposed to be practiced. <laughs> it was intended to be practiced, but then we, all the time was invested in another activity. I remember because this activity took you a long time. Yeah, it took you longer than it was supposed to. Yeah, true, true, true. But this was mainly the, the last questions, yeah. With the pass of B, but some of the questions were asked with B as well, I remember. Yeah. So, this is the idea. Ask and answer questions about past events in my workplace. Okay. Where do trainings take place in your company? Who are the eligible people to go to trainings at your workplace. I think we have discussed about trainings before, right? Okay, they say, okay, we usually have training once a week or twice a month, three times a year. We usually have the trainings there in the company. Sometimes we have video conferences so that we can have online trainings like this one and so on and so forth, right? So that's not a big challenge right now. We are going to start right away on the conversation. Okay, I'm going to give you the opportunity to look at the conversation, try to see as much as you can understand, as much as you can pronounce from the conversation. I'm not going to be the spoiler, okay? So you have to do it. <laughs> this time, I'm going to give you the challenge, okay? You have the conversation, you pronounce it as you think it is. Then you're going to have lots of space to ask questions, to clarify whatever you were not very sure about. Is that right? Do you take the challenge? Yes. You have no choice now. <laughs> you are the teacher. But you are pushing us too much. No, it's okay. I know you can do it. You can handle it. Okay, so that we can do it from the other way around because I usually pronounce it and model it. And now I'm going to give you the chance. There's, there's a lot of opportunity to make mistakes, to self-correct, to correct our partners. To help each other that is the idea okay so let's see since we are very few maybe we can get a couple of yeah couple of groups here we go
how it's going. Hi, how are you going? Okay. Oh, está ahí. <laughs> ¿Quién empieza? Yo voy a ser Mr. Lewis. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot to experience. And he was very... <laughs> Who led well? Ah, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Veamos. No, no sé. Who led well, please? No, no, no. ¿Cómo? ¿A dónde va? ¿Dónde dice? La segunda de Eric. Mm -hmm. I was excellent. He a speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Creo yo. Knowledgeable. O escuchen, no sé si alcanzan a escuchar. Sí. Knowledgeable. 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 Bien raro. Say knowledge, knowledgeable. 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 Okay. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. How do you, how do you say knowledgeable? Que tiene mucho conocimiento. Knowledge es conocimiento. Alguien que tiene mucho conocimiento es knowledgeable. Okay. Mucho conocimiento es knowledgeable. Yes. Okay. Continúe ya que no. Usted. No. 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 Ah, Hello, Mr. Lewis. I'm just fine. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. How was the your training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he has very acknowledgeable. Did he provide examples to the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and he left very late. Hay una parte en la que me perdí, dice, ajá, it was excel. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Equal conocimiento. O conocedor. Knowledgeable. Había, había conocido knowledge. knowledge. Sí. Ah, parecido también. ¿no? Muy parecido, correcto. correcto. Se no fue Lucy. Sí, creo que sí. We finished, teacher. Is there any problem? 
Any question? No. No. Oh, You're no. very knowledgeable. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to use the word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Some people are still uh, practicing that word. All right, no problem. Thanks. Experience was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topic he talked about? Yeah, he did. He, he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Solo voy a hacer un apunte. Knowledge. Teacher, what is the correct pronunciation about no? Knowledgeable. Exactly. Knowledge. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Okay. Yes. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Okay. All right. Carlos, you are Mr. Lewis. Okay. Okay. Uh, hi, Eddie. How's how is it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I'm just fine. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Ooh. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Nunca había escuchado esa palabra. No late. La sombreada la de speaker had a lot of feelings. Mi negrita. Speaker had a lot of feelings. <coughs> eh, repetimos o nos vamos al cuestionario All right. Let's start. Adriana, your partner was Carlos, right? No. All right. <laughs> so you are going to be the first ones to do the conversation. You ready? Yes. Okay. Of course. <laughs> who's Mr. Lewis and who's Eric? <clears throat> Uh, I be I begin. Okay, you'll be Mr. Lewis. All right, one, two, three. Hi, Eddie. How's how's it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I'm just fine. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. 
How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide example of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Uh oh <laughs> okay everything was okay until <laughs> yeah we left late all right no problems let's see next person would be isabel who was your partner hey <laughs> the microphone again me 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 me, me all me. right well, uh, I'm not quite sure uh, he will be able to say the conversation because of the microphone. Is it working now, Ms. Owen? Were you able to fix it? Okay. Yes, we can hear you now. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I'm just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. Who was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide example on the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used the computer to provide example. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late, and we left very late. <laughs> like 10.30, for example. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought it was Mr. Lewis, but it's Mrs. Lewis. I just saw the photo and I'm like, oh yeah, it's true, <laughs> it's a lady. <laughs> All right, okay, let's see who else. Who else practice a conversation? Okay. Not quite sure. Mm -hmm. There used to be three groups, right? Who else wants to practice? I guess it was Christina, right? Christina and company. Okay. <laughs> And Jacqueline and Hazel. Okay, so you practice with Jacqueline or with Hazel? Jacqueline or Hazel? Are you there? All right. Go, Christy. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Ray. I am just fine. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. He speaker had a lot of experience and was very knowledgeable. Did he provide example of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide example. Sound good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some a minute late and we left very late. <laughs> okay. Any question? Any doubts? No? The conversation was easy to understand, right? How was the training? Asking for information. It was excellent. You see how was it was, right? How was the training? It was, it substitute the training, of course. So you understand that it was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience. Had is an action verb, okay? So he had, okay? And he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. He used the computer to provide examples. 
Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. All right. There must be three converts, no, three questions, three short questions about the conversation. What kind of event did Eric attend? What did the speaker use to provide example? And what did Eric not like about the event? Did you discuss these questions with your partner? Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Did you discuss these questions with your partners? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, I'm going to give you one or two minutes to try to figure out the answer for each of the questions and then we write down the, the answers, all right? Think about. Think about how you could answer these questions regarding, of course, the conversation that we have just practiced, all right? And then you let me know. Then you tell me the possible answers. Okay. What kind of event did Eric attend? Uh -huh. Eric attend uh -huh. the training. He attended a training. All right. That's correct. What did the speaker use to provide examples? Uh -huh. He used a computer. He used a computer to provide examples. Right. He used a computer to provide examples. What did Eric not like about the event? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es lo que no le gustó? He didn't. He didn't like. He didn't like. The speaker come late. Okay. The speaker came, came late. Came, <laughs> came late. And they finished late. <laughs> They finished too much late. Yes, too late. All right. Game. Okay. The pass of come. Game. All right. Good. Perfect. So you already copy the the question. I mean the answers. Ya la escribieron. Ya lo contestaron en su en su booklet. Yes, I did. <laughs> no, I didn't. Did you? Let me know, please. Don't. All right. We can clear everything. All right. Okay, here is the explanation that I was showing to you before that we're supposed to cover, right? So use a simple pass, yes, no question to get information on past situations. A structure, did, subject, verb, complement. Did the speaker use a computer in the speech? Yes, he did, no, he didn't. Did the listener ask questions? Yes, they did, no, they didn't. So, you have some questions here that you have to create. Of course, you can answer according to your reality, okay? <laughs> it says write simple past questions using the verb pronouns in parentheses, and then take turns asking the questions you wrote to your classmates, okay? So, first, create the questions, and then practice the questions with your partner. 
That is the idea. Let's see. Working groups. We're going to... Uh, let's see... Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. We're going to add the yes, maybe one more group so that you can be all right. Here we go. Right. Did, did you meet your boss yesterday? Did you meet? Uh huh. Did you meet your boss yesterday? This is the first. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. The mm. conference, the Julie conference, yes. The Julie. She. Did she attend the Julie conference? La conferencia de julio es, ¿o qué es? Julie, mm. uh, July conference. Sí, entendería que es la conferencia. Ajá. Entonces, solo es colocar el, el, el did, el verbo no cambia en conjugación, sí. ¿no? No, el verbo no cambia. Solo sería did, el pronombre y luego el verbo. Ok. Entonces sería, did she at meet your boss yesterday? Entonces ahí tendría que ser. Mi mamá está con nosotros. Isabel. Oh. Isabel. Yo quizás se levanta. Your boss yesterday. Ahí sería que was was your boss yesterday. He's um, como simple as. Dice que usted conoció a su jefe ayer. Dice, sería entonces, what, what your boss yesterday? Next. Yeah, I, I Teacher, we just only put it on the or on the old question. Yes, 
all the questions start with did because they are yes no questions and then the subject the verb and the complement and then of course you're going to be asking those questions to your partner to response to A according to uh, your reality huh? okay to for example did you meet your boat yesterday? Yes, I met my boat yes, yesterday. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Huh? Well, only with your answer is okay. And then if you want to give extra explanation, you can say, yes, I did. I met my boss yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you okay. can say, no, I didn't. I didn't meet him yesterday. He was not there. Meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? <clears throat> But the practice is going to happen when you start asking the question. Right now, it's just for you to create, to structure the questions. We start with this, all the yes, no questions you ask. Okay. We complete the structure, the full structure. And now we going to answer this question using this. Yes or no, and the complement. Correct? Yes. Thank you very much. Y la cinco sería where. Es was. Was. What is esta? You have. Who in the Christmas party? The mm. rest you? Do you a well? Well. ¿Cuál sería entonces en la cinta? En la cinco. Ajá. Es where. Where. Sí. ¿Por qué sería web? Porque está hablando de... Acuérdense que la regla es tercera persona y, y yo, digámoslo así, es cuas, ya es de ahí cuando se... Sí. Ok. Siguiendo, una vez más. Hi, did you practice the questions already? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. So everybody has different answers. If you want to practice a little bit more, you can you can extend. For example, did you meet your boss yesterday? Yes, I did. I met my boss at the cafeteria yesterday. Ah. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't see him yesterday, right? If you want to give extra information, but if you just say, yes, I did, no, I didn't, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Answer, answer the, the each question. Exactly, you have to practice the questions. Okay. Asking your partners the questions. Entonces, eh, Adriana, hace la primera pregunta. Ok. Did you meet your boss yesterday? Las siete. Siete es where they live early. Where? Yes. Where they Y la ocho. Guardo. Solo esas y vamos a contestar también las seis. ¿Eh? 
Ah, no, esa no hay. Hay que hacer oración. Ahí sí. Me escuchaban. Sí. Hola. Ay, sí, me, aparecía como, eh, me aparecía como que tenía apagado el micrófono. Y yo dije, yo voy a hablar y no me escuchaban quizás. Nada. Sí, la escuchamos. Y entonces, solamente eso. Sí, yo creo que sí. sí. Ah, ok. Eso es eh, eh, lo que lo que estaba preguntando. Ajá. Eh, funciona así, mire. Uh -huh. El cuas lo vamos a utilizar para tercera persona. Por ejemplo, el ver tu vida. Aparece yo, tú, eh, perdón. I, you, he, she, it, they, we. Y aparece de nuevo you, your. Entonces, I was. She. We're just working in the answers. All right, if you want to write down the answers, it's fine. But the idea is that you interact, that you practice. Yes. All right? Look your phone. What? No, no, my wife. Ah. Ay. O sea, que si, la, si, si fuimos a ver la película con X persona, pero como estaba hablando primero de algo, entonces uh -huh. si utilizábamos el guas. Mm. Uh -huh. Muchas gracias. Uh -huh. La primera sería fuerte. Where you meet your boss yesterday? ¿Verdad? El lado se leería Was she attend the Julie conference? Where they stay in the meeting last night? Was he passed the test? Where you have home and the Christmas party? What is start on time? Where they live early? Was he arrived on time to the conference? Conference. Mm -hmm. Así quedaría, ¿verdad? Okay. Sorry. In this, in this opportunity, you have to check. Tienen que revisar lo que está ahí, justamente arriba de ese ejercicio. La explicación que les da el manual. Como los verbos Ay. son de acción, tenemos que usar el did. Did más subject más verb. Ajá, exacto. Complement. Exacto. O sea, que lo hicimos mal. Vuelve a hacer, solo es agregarle el did. Did you meet your boss yesterday? Did she attend the July conference? Did they stay in the meeting last night? Todo es con did, porque tenemos otro verbo. Cuando usamos el was y el were, no tenemos otro verbo. Thank you, teacher. All right. Atrasado completamente. 
Yo la 15, no sé cómo se contesta, la verdad. Yo le traté de poner todas las preguntas y respuestas a vida y por haber y nunca me las agarró. Creo que solo una tuve buena. Wow. Voy a ver entonces si cómo lo resuelvo. Si, si hay Así algo. que me di por vencida y pasé a la siguiente. Por... Híjole. Quiero ver si, cómo. Déjenme ver. Un viejo corporativo. ¿Qué le entiende en conexión de internet? La 15 dice, was I late? ¿Qué es verdad? La 15. Y la respuesta sería... Perdón. ¿Eh? ¿Curló? ¿Ya está igual? ¿Tiene, tiene cerrado el micrófono. Sí, pero es como uno estarse preguntando, estuve tarde. Y yo mismo me respondo, sí, estuve. Es lo que no entiendo. Y es igual. Ajá. Sí, estuve. Sí, pero aquí me dio, me dio ok. Ajá, por eso le digo, pero no sé, no sé si está correcto. Sí, puede ser, puede ser. De hecho, así lo, lo han seteado en la plataforma. O sea, Ajá. sentido como tal no tiene tanto, porque como yo me estoy preguntando y yo misma me respondo, ¿verdad? Como que no me acuerdo, ¿verdad? Y digo, ¿was I late? No, no, sí llegué tarde. Ah, sí, sí llegué tarde. Ajá, algo así. Pero por lo común uno no se pregunta Ajá. cosas a uno mismo, ¿verdad? Ajá, uno le pregunta a alguien más, le pero en este caso podría ser que usted solo esté como recordando y se re autorresponda. Pero igual yo si llegué tarde no le voy a ir a preguntar a alguien más. Llegué tarde. Si sí, yo sé que llegué o no llegué tarde. <ríe> a menos que haya llegado borracho. <ríe> bien, bien, bien. Sí, sí. Y, y, ajá, y como así lo, lo han seteado, esa es la correcta. Ok. Uh -huh. Even I were you in school yesterday? All right. Did you finish? <laughs> okay. Hi, teacher. <laughs> hey. Hi. Me estaba viendo que te contesta mi amigo. El sí te contesta como hay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, ¿cómo les quedó la primera question? Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Did you meet your boss yesterday? Okay. Did you meet? Did you meet your boss yesterday? Uh 
¿Y qué respondieron? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. yes. Sorry. My boss. Or. No. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> All right. No, I didn't. All right. Creo que era esa dos estaba bien. O si querían dar como mayor explicación. Yes, I did. I met. Y ya les tocaba usar el verbo en pasado. I met my boss yesterday. Y aquí puede tener también dos connotaciones. Como que did you meet? O sea, ¿te lo encontraste o lo conociste ayer? Obviamente no lo conocieron ayer. <laughs> you didn't meet your boss. A menos que ayer hayan conocido a su boss. Por entonces, digo, your future boss. All right. <laughs> Number two. Did she attend the Julie's conference? Did she attend the July conference? Yes. Possible answer? Yes, she did. Or? No. She didn't. Yes. Okay, number three. Mm -hmm. Did they? Stay. Did they stay in the meeting, sorry, last night? Mm -hmm. Yes. They did? Yes, they did. No. Mm -hmm. They? Didn't. They didn't. Teacher? Yes. When when I ask, no, I make the question, mm -hmm. or do question, yeah. the verb is in present. And See? after, not before, use did. But when I ask this question, I I, my answer is did and the verb in past. When you ask the question, you use the auxiliary did and the verb in base form. No cambia. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Pero si ya va usted a responder en forma larga, no en short answer, no solo yes, I did, no, I didn't, sino que va a dar una explicación. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, did you stay in the meeting last night? Y se me dice, no, I didn't. I didn't stay or I I had to y empiezo a usar el verbo en pasado. I went to another meeting or I had another another event, okay? O si usted también dice yes I did, I stayed in the meeting. Uh -huh. Ya va explicando. Obviamente con las yes no question tenemos como la gran facilidad de solo responder con una respuesta corta. Uh -huh. En cambio, uh -huh. cuando se nos pregunta algo, ahí sí, a ley tenemos que usar el verbo en pasado. Por ejemplo, what did you do yesterday? Se pregunta, ¿qué, ¿qué hizo ayer? No me puede ser solo, solo yes, I did. What did you do? Dice, I worked, I went to the conference, I participated, y ya tiene que empezar a usar los verbos en casa. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right, number four. ¿Cómo les quedó? Did. Did what? Ah, no la iban escribiendo, ¿verdad? Did he pass? <laughs> did he pass the test? Uh -huh. Yes. I did. Yes, he did. <laughs> he did. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Or. No, he didn't. no, no estudió. <laughs> he didn't. Like me. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Did you pass the test? No, I didn't. <laughs> All right. Like in the university, when you when you enter the university, did you pass the test? No, I didn't. I wasn't accepted at the university because I didn't pass the exam. <laughs> right. Okay. Next. Ah, I like this one. <laughs> uh -huh. What is the question? The next one. 
have? Did you have fun? Um, did you have fun at the Christmas party? Mm -hmm. Usted responde? Yes, I did. Or, no, I didn't. I didn't like the party. Mm -hmm. Okay, number six. Did it, ¿cuál es el verbo? Did it start? Did it start on time? Comenzó a tiempo? Yes. Yes, it did. It did. Yes, it did. Or no, it didn't. No, it didn't. All right. Number seven. Did they live? Did they live? Okay, live of living, right? <laughs> they live early. Yes. Yes, they did. Or no, they didn't. All right. And the number eight. Did he arrive on time to the conference? Yes, he did. Or no, he, he didn't. All right. Así nos tuvo que ver que no. And of course, así les había quedado, ¿verdad? You were just shy to say the answers. Let's say. All right. ¿Hay alguna question hasta acá? ¿Todo bien? ¿Todo bien? ¿Molto bene? ¿Todo bien? No, not only English. <laughs> ok, great. Bye, hoy sí viene la, la verdadera acción. No. <laughs> este era solo el warm-up. <laughs> hoy sí vamos a lo verme pasar. Pero antes, el attendance que he requerido, please. Ok, el attendance, el command de Insaform. Adriana. Present. Carlos, Present. Cristina, Elsa, Present. hi, <ríe> se nos va Cristina, el micrófono, <ríe> él si no se ha unido, verdad, no, no la veo por ningún lado, se fue a la party, Fermán también, no, he's working, he says, Hazel, si bien Hazel, Present, hi. hi, Héctor, Present teacher, hi, hi, Irma, yeah, she went Present to the party. <gasps> really? No. <laughs> no, si, sí, Mayra es la de la party. I'm sorry. Isabel. Present. All right. Mayra, no, at the party. Samuel. Present. Wendy. Adair todavía riding her bike. And Jacqueline. <laughs> Present. Ay. Sí, es que estoy. De teletransportation, no se nos da todo. Bye. <laughs> All right. Wait, wait a second. I'm going to leave the slide. Okay, here. Okay, we finished this. Ah, ¿Qué pueden decirme de este ejercicio? ¿Qué creen ustedes que es, hay que hacer? I want to cry. <laughs> Please don't. Uh. <laughs> this is just the beginning of the real story. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, what do you think? It's it's the real challenge of this activity. So, it's only 15 sentences. 
transform all the verb in past? Exactly, just to put the verb in past. Pero ¿qué pueden ver de estos verbos? Vean los verbos, los que están en paréntesis. Uh -huh. Wait, invite, leave, like, like visit, dance, visit. stop, water, study, rain, try, and walk, wash, work. Regular uh, verbos. Son regulars, exacto. Esta es la parte easy de los, de los verbos en pasado. ¿Por qué? Solo le agregamos Uh -huh. y di y ya se convirtió en pasado pero tengan cuidado con los que están en paréntesis que tienen not eso qué significa que la oración Negativo. debe ser negativa exacto y para hacer la oración negativa qué necesito no. el didn't la contracción de did not y al poner el did not, el verbo, ¿siempre le pongo ed o ya no le pongo ed? No, no le pongo Ya no. Ajá, ya no le voy a poner ed. O sea, si en el paréntesis está el not, le voy a poner didn't y el verbo tal cual está ahí. Pero si el verbo está solo, ahí sí le voy a poner ed. ¿Yes? O sea, el did transforma el verbo en pasado. Ya, ya está ajá, diciendo de que no lo hizo. Y ya, ya no es necesario poner como doble negativo uh -huh. o doble pasado, por decir algo. Porque uh -huh. ya tengo el didn't. Uh -huh. Es complicado lo bien, papá. <ríe> Vamos a hacer un ejemplo. Number one, aquí sí creen que debe ir el, el wait en waited o no. Waited. Exacto. Es waited. Ahí sí digo waited porque waited. está en afirmativo. ¿Ya? Y la oración perfectamente me queda. She waited for the bus. Sí. Va, pero vámonos a la number three, que aquí tenemos not leave. Entonces digo. I didn't. Ajá. I didn't leave. I didn't leave. Ajá. Sí, tal cual. Ya no puedo poner I didn't no. leave. Porque sería doble pasado. Sí. So I didn't leave in Portugal one year ago. Sí. Yes. Uh -huh. Va, entonces este es su primer reto del past tense. Ahorita <risa> les voy a poner en, en su grupo, pero con New Partners, vaya. Para que vean que I care for you. Ok. <risa> Let's see. New Partners. Here we go. For the, for the bus. The second, they invited. 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 Mary and Rachel. They invited the Mary and Rachel to the party. Okay. To the party. I'm not. Uh, three. I'm didn't live. Y ese será el pasado. Uh, como lleva el auxiliar did, el verbo va igual. Ok. I didn't live. In Portugal. One year ago. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I didn't live in Portugal one year ago. Four. Did you like the film Did last you like? night? Uh -huh. en, en presente, ¿verdad? El, el verbo. Ok. Por el did. Uh -huh. Did you like the film last night? We didn't visit our friend on Monday. We didn't visit. Uh -huh. Yes. Did your grandparents dance at the party? Did your grandparents, okay. The bus stopped it. Stop at it. the traffic light. Double P, sir. Only Double one P. P. Only one P or just uh, uh, ED? Okay. Right. <clears throat> My right. brother. Teacher. <laughs> teacher. Tell me. Stop, Stop it, just add ED. Double P, ED. Double, Double P. P. Yes. Double P. Yes. Okay. okay. Why double P? Because it's one syllable. Stop. Stopped. Then you have Stop. to double exactly Stop. the last sound. Okay, okay. All right. Did no, you didn't study. You didn't uh, study. You didn't study for the test. The next is the next. It rained rained a lot last night. Last night. Hola, hola, qué tal, verdad? Rained. La la diez rained. ¿Cómo es? It rained. Rainer a lot last night. Last Rainer. night. Rainer. No sé, busquémoslo porque eso no sé. Rainer. 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 Uh -huh. ¿Saben ustedes, chicas, cómo va ese verbo? Hello. Creo que sí es Rainer, pero con doble N no me acuerdo. Ahorita lo buscamos. Rainer. Bueno, eleven. Did she uh, try her new dress on? Fue solo Rainer. Rainer. Así, Rainer. Solo Rainer. E R. Pero la pronunciación es Rainer. Sí, vea. Rainer. No one else, one else, they're rained. alive. Rain. 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 Sin que suene la E, mucho la E. No. Rain. Rain. Bueno. Eh, eleven. <clears throat> Did she try her new dress on? Dress on. Como que se puso el vestido, ¿verdad? Ajá, el new dress on. Uh -huh. The film. Uy. Eh, ¿Y el, el pasado de end? ¿Cuál es? Ended. ¿Sí? Ended. Ended. También. Ended. Ended. Ahí está. Yeah. 
Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. You didn't study. <laughs> you didn't study for your test. The best. The best. Number 10. It's raining. Rain now. Mm -hmm. Rain now. Rain. Rain now. Did she try her new address on? Her new dress on? Did she try, Celia? Pero te lo, te lo van a descontar en cuatro meses. Mm. Nunca me imaginé que se vendieron 37 listas y se lo ganó una chica. Sí, como decís, qué bueno que se lo ganó. Qué bueno. Y a las se seis. Lo van a donar. Sí, ese, ese va a ser el, el. Como se hicieron bastantes actividades durante este periodo, todo, mm. eso, todo eso se da como donación de los empleados, aparte mm. de la donación que hace la empresa. Claro. Pero esa moto que va a rifar me la hubiera ido a comprar a mí. ¿Dónde está sí. usted? <risa> ah. Llevo. Tengo puta, vamos a ver. Yo también. Hey, <laughs> how was the practice? Good? Good. Pretty good. All right. Let's take a look. For the bus. Okay, she waited for the bus. Okay, fine. Day? Mm -hmm. Invited. They invited Mary and Rachel to the party. Yes. I did not leave. Didn't. Mm -hmm. I did not. It's correct. If you don't want to contract, I did not leave or I didn't live in Portugal a year ago or one year ago. Or did you like? Mm -hmm. Did you like the film last the film. night? Nice. Uh -huh. Did you like the film last night? We we uh, didn't it. Mm -hmm. Didn't visit. 
We didn't visit our friends on Monday. Friends on Monday. Mm -hmm. Did your grandparents grandparent dance? Your grandparents dance. Okay. Did your grandparents dance at the party? Yes, they did. <laughs> the bus? Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop. What? Stop. 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 The bus stopped. Uh, the traffic lights. My brother didn't, didn't water. Water. Didn't water. Water the is the verb. Puede ser verbo. Sí, en este caso está como verbo. Significa regar. Really? Yes, <laughs> echarle agua. <laughs> so my brother didn't water the plants yesterday. My mom was really mad. <laughs> okay. All right. You? You didn't. You didn't study. Study. You didn't study for the test. Uh oh. It? It rained. It rained. rained a lot last night. <laughs> it's been a while. It doesn't. It yeah. It, it hasn't rained. All right. Eleven. Did she try? Did she try? Did she try her new dress on? All right. The film. And. And did. Late yesterday? Indeed. <laughs> Ended. No. <laughs> Ended, yes. Ended. Uh -huh. Children? Walker. Children Walker. walked to Walker. school on foot last month. Dad and I washed, it. washed, washed. the car in the morning. The he? What? What? Uh, he did not. He, he didn't. did not, or he didn't work. Yeah. Didn't work because well, he was too tired. He was too tired. All right, bye. Como se habrán podido dar cuenta, la ed se le agrega al verbo regular para hacer la acción en pasado. Sin embargo, esa ed no se pronuncia como tal. Mm -hmm. Tiene tres diferentes pronunciaciones. <laughs> A todavía más. <laughs> Ustedes, ¿cómo pronunciaron la number one? Wait. Wait. Waited. Or Wait. waited. Como id. Esa es como id. Como una id. Tal cual como la ed, digamos. En in inglés. Waited. Waited. Cualquiera de los dos está bien. Si usted sounds more like British, you pronounce the T, waited. Or if you want to sound more like American, you say waited. It's fine. El caso de invite. Invite. En el mismo caso, ¿se fijan? Wait. El, fin, el último sonido es t. Invite también. Entonces digo invited. Hasta ahí vamos bien con it, it. Vaya, vamos a ver el caso de stop. ¿Qué escuchan al final? Stopped. Stop. Stop. Ajá, es como un T sound, como una T. Al agregar ED, este sonido es como una T. Porque el último sonido, antes de agregar la ED, era una P. Entonces digo stopped. No puedo decir stopped. Tiene que ser stopped. Stop. Yes. Y el caso de rained, it rained, es como una D. Entonces son tres sonidos para los regular verbs in English. Tenemos el, vamos a hacer un, aquí, una media explanation. Este ID se puede pronunciar como id, como t, o como d. ¿Ya? Yeah. Obviamente no vamos a entrar como en muchos detalles, pero como solo para tener la noción. Y decir, mm. por ejemplo, el caso de ended. Ahí dices, the, is, 
ended. Walked, como te. Washed, como te. Obviamente, solamente esto va a pasar cuando tenga el verbo con ed. Obviamente, cuando lo tengo didn't, study, ahí no cambia nada. Que no le he agregado ed. Vale, vamos bien hasta acá. Any question? So far, so good. <laughs> All right. If you can say that. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Ahora que pueden deducir de esta lámina. Irregular verbs. Son irregular. Aquí ya no le voy a poner ed. ¿Qué voy a hacer? Llorar. <ríe> Cry again. <ríe> no. Buscar la forma bien? pasada del verbo. ¿eh? Break. Oh, ya me lo sé. Ya tengo una noción, ¿verdad? Break. Broke. Broke. Uh -huh. Aunque... Okay. Sí, algunos... Siguen siendo regulares, no todos son irregulares. De hecho, por ejemplo, aquí tenemos enjoy. Enjoy es un verbo regular. Pero tampoco me tengo que preocupar tanto porque tengo el not. Simplemente voy a decir didn't enjoy. ¿Sí? El para el caso se trae la misma regla de los verbos regulares. Al ser negativo, simplemente pongo el didn't y el verbo sigue igual. Imagínense aquí... Si en lugar de estar afirmativa, la number one estuviera en negativa, estuviera el not precediendo el verbo acá en paréntesis, ustedes tendrían que decir somebody didn't break, pero como solo tengo el break, entonces tengo que decir somebody broke, ¿yes? Entonces la misma regla para negativos siempre va a aplicar. Si ya tengo el didn't, el verbo ya no cambia, pero si es afirmativo, ahí es el verbo cambia. All right. Vale, para que igual siga el reto de las neuronas, me dicen, no, ves. <risa> ¿Y así? ¿Qué le pasó a la cacatúa? Ya debería tener el perro. Ahí, les, ahí les, les comparto, les compartí un, un video que creo que es de los de los que hablaba ahorita la teacher. Tal vez nos ayuda a todos. Sí, ya lo vi, gracias. Thank you. Hey, me mandó el número uno. Muy bien. Perfecto. Veamos. Eh, Compartimos otra vez. Sí, sí, por favor. Ah, quiero ver si lo captureo para empezar. Sí. Si lo logré capturar. Y más grande.
¿Lo ves? Sí, ahí está. Ok. Con 12. Vaya, vamos otra vez. A llorar se ha dicho. A llorar. <ríe> Number one, pues. Eh, ¿Cómo era? Somebody broke, era. Bro. Somebody broke. ¿Cómo lo escribí? Broke. ¿Cuál es el, el origen? El, el, el break. Ah, sí, broke. Broke, era. Broke, así como. <risa> eh, somebody broke. Es que no lo Es que la voy anotando, fíjate, para que me quede yo solo. Aunque igual va, tengo la captura, pero. No, no, no hay. Ahí. Hit, pero no sé. Como que es de rancho, güey. Ajá, mira, igual apareció. Hit, ajá. Hace hit, pero se debe pronunciar diferente. Sí. Hot. Ah, pues sí, igual de mole. Ay, hey, ¿cuál era? Ah, la cuatro. I've never. Hit, anybody? Head. So head. 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 Okay. I've never had. Hit anybody in my life. I've never. I have never. I never. But the pass of hit. I do a me. Mira. Así, go y went. Mm. Y was, I was hungry because they were late, sería. I was hungry because I was I was hungry. They were. They were. They were. Okay. Or I've never eat. No sé si se queda igual, fíjate, ya te digo. Eat. Creo que este solo lleva este. Hit. Queda igual, hit, hit. No, así queda. Hit. I never hit. Yeah. I never hit. Number five. Okay. 
que es pasado. Boat. 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 Creo que es, ajá. Go. Uh, Thirty five thousand in ninety ninety eight. Quizás coast no es regular. No he visto esa palabra. I'm not sure. Okay, I will check in. Teacher, coast is regular or irregular verb. I'm not sure. It's irregular. And you write the same cost. Cost. Philip make no his to move for made. Make is made. No haste to move from where he saw. Sits. I went walk after break breakfast. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Así sería. No sé qué opinan. No, sí está bien. Ok. 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 Broke his window. La que tengo duda, ¿cómo nos quedó? Es la seis. Live. La seis. He live. Live, ajá. ¿Cómo live. era el verbo? El pasado es live, es live, con ed. Igual. No, con ED. Live. Ah, live it. Live, live. Eso que a mí no me sale. Live it. Live it. Live it. Live it. No sé. Ok. Live it. The hotel. Took a taxi and drove to the station. It's a long uh, drive. He lived the hotel took a taxi a taxi and drove to the station okay we got it got it Hi, my friends. Welcome again. Esto es English Book. Great book about vampires. Mm -hmm. In summer, I went for long walk at the mm -hmm. break. Yes.
around a randy bell but a body yeah. is it plural bro? nobody nobody nadie mm -hmm. nadie sería where ah no sería si sí, where nobody where ¿Cómo la dejamos? What's a phone? No, nobody wear a phone. What's? No, nobody. Nobody was, nobody were. Where, Sari? Bueno, dejémoslo así, a ver cómo nos sale. Then, who else went? Cinema, cinema, what in cinema? Cinema with my yesterday. Who else? Um. Eleven. Stephanie Mayer wrote Great books about Did it done? Well, I see you already shared the screenshot, so. We're just going to compare. Okay. Somebody break, pass of break. Broke. 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 Somebody broke this window last night. I mm -hmm. pass of go. When? We went to the cinema, but I did not enjoy. I did not, I didn't enjoy the movie, <laughs> the film much. I didn't enjoy the film much. I mm -hmm. was angry. 
I was angry because they, they were late. They were late. I've never. I've, I've never had anybody in my whole life. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think so, but I believe you. <laughs> I hit the dog sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, I wish I could do that. They are not Richard, even my dogs. They are why, the neighbor's dogs. Why hit doesn't change? Hit. Oh, because yeah. there are some irregular verbs that is the same form. Okay. What kind of page or where we can find uh, a, a list? list I told you to remind me today. Ah, yes. <laughs> but 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 in your defense, you told us uh, remember me tomorrow. Nobody remember. Remind me, <laughs> yes, nobody did. And then I'm like, I I didn't do it. And you know, my days are so extremely busy. Sometimes I barely. Well, today, to tell you the truth, we were supposed to have an hour for lunch and we just have half an hour. And I had to eat what I didn't want because I didn't have enough time to get something cool. But anyways, yeah, I will try to send you, uh, I mean, this links tomorrow that can help you, okay, to study the verse in class. Bye, the pass of bye. But I bought a ticket to Paris at the airport. The pass of leave left. He left the hotel and pass of take took, took, a taxi. took the taxi and drove. Drove. The pass of drive is drove. Mm -hmm and drove to the station. This house cost, cost the same, cost $30,000 in 1998. Now, <laughs> now cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> All right, Philip. Made. Made, I'm oh, sorry, made. Hey, my typo made no ways to move from where he sat from sat. his sat. no haste to move. I rang. rang I rang the bell, but nobody what? where nobody was <laughs> at home. Nobody's like ni una persona, it's like no one. Okay, who else? When? Who else went to the cinema with you? Okay, who else went to the cinema with Mike yesterday? Stephanie Mayer. Bro. Wrote. Okay, great books about vampires. And in summer, I went. Wow. I went for long walks after breakfast, all right? Is there any question? No? Clear? Clear as the water? Clear. All right, perfect. Bye. Hasta ahorita hemos visto oraciones afirmativas con verbos regulares, con verbos irregulares en pasado, algunas, algunas oraciones negativas también. Sin embargo, es un tiempo gramatical, es el simple past y es uno de los tiempos, digamos, clave para hablar inglés. Ustedes, es como, si ya saben usar el past tense, there's a big progress. <ríe> so, hay que echarle ganas. Eso es como que, hay one class and I already speak English, right? So, it's not that way. It requires some practice. I do have a lot, like a lot more exercises with questions, but eso lo vamos a hacer todo junto, así que don't you worry. Veamos, so there's a, one last exercise, y esta sí es de preguntas. 
siempre de past tense, ¿ok? One last exercise, ¿ok? Where did Helen go last summer? She went to... Ajá. ¿Cómo voy a saber dónde fue la chica, la Helen? Espérenme. Déjenme. I just misplaced the slide, probably. Mm. Oh, yes. Acá está. Wait, wait, wait a second. Solo les comento ahorita. One second. Ya tenemos una reading <ríe> para saber dónde es que realmente fue Helen. So, let me show you. Ok, hola. Acá está. Es, vamos a leer. Like, just a brief reading. I'm Helen. Last summer holidays, I went with my family to Paris. We went by car. There was me, my parents, my brother Tom, and my little sister Susan. We live in Brinton and we are English. We saw the most interesting places in Paris, as the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre Museum, and we made the city tour. I loved it because Paris is a very beautiful city. On the fifth day, we went to Euro Disney. That was fantastic. We all enjoyed ourselves a lot. We stayed in Euro Disney four days. They were the most exciting day I had in my, I had all my life. We were all very tired because we had to walk a lot to watch everything and enjoy all the amusements. My sister is only four years old and she loved it. I met all the Disney characters and they were very funny. We stayed at a hotel inside Euro Disney. Como? Voy a responder las questions, obviamente basado en este reading, okay? So, don't you say, okay, we have to understand first, we have to read. In order to read, we have to, I mean, in order to understand, we have to read many times, okay? Pero, eso se lo voy a dejar de assignment para que sigan repasando, así que ahorita les voy a compartir la story y las questions para que ustedes lo hagan y se relajen on the weekend, okay? So, Don't worry, we're not doing this in class. No lo vamos a hacer ahorita en la clase, se les voy a asignar. ¿Ok? Aparte de la... De que ya tenían el... ¿Cómo se llama? La platform, ¿verdad? ¿Ya terminaron la platform? Did you finish the platform? Yes or yes? No, yes. Yes. Vaya. Very yes. Very yes. Y si no, pues, hay que... Echarle ganas. I recommend you to do it the soonest, the best. Porque, definitely. Ya la otra semana es cuestión de matter of time y terminamos y ya, we're done. Así que eso para que repasen un poquito sobre la comprensión del single pass. Igual lo vamos a revisar next Monday. Yes? Yep. No questions, no doubts. No. All right, so last no. attendance, and we go. Last attendance, Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present. Cristina. Present. All right, then you must start. Hazel. Present. Hector. Present, teacher. Irma. Present, teacher. Isabel. Ay, ya no fue Isabel. Ah, oh, no, el micrófono. <ríe> Samuel. Present. En Jacqueline. Present. Ok, perfecto. ¿Alguien necesita quedarte y repasar algo? Volunteer. Ah, yes, thank you, Isabel. Or everybody participated, ¿verdad? Everybody participated already. Ok. So don't worry, relax, enjoy. See you next Monday. <laughs> enjoy your Teletón, Mr. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it, your it good feelings. It started already. It started already. Yeah, yeah. What time did it start? Seven o'clock. At seven, really? Yeah. Yeah. You were not there. 
No, but tomorrow will be a busy day. <laughs> it's going to be the best day of your <laughs> All right. Have a good night. Enjoy your weekend. Blessings. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. Good night. Good night. Goodbye. Good night and goodbye. Yes. <laughs>